uh, Ted's last email to me, he and I, w w was two hours before he died. And it was, uh, I just, it struck me because uh, I had written him that morning and we had already exchanged. And then about two hours before he died, he sent me a last email, which was, and he said, you can do whatever you want with my recordings. I don't care. I just want you to know you have my permission, my blessing, so to speak, to do anything you want to. So service. And then, and he said, I just want to thank you so much. I'm so grateful. So service and gratitude. That's what was on his mind. There was no fear. There was no, oh God, it's coming, it's coming, or anything like that. It was all service and gratitude and peace. And he was not sad to go. Uh, you know, his story that, you know, he had to watch himself or he'd be too happy around his wife. Once again, that's compassion. It's just noticing it's service. It's love. Thing with it. I had a rough day Tuesday. Uh, it was a long day. It was a rough day. It because I had a problem with it. He didn't have a problem with it. And I didn't have a problem with them dying. I had a problem with the fact that I wouldn't be able to talk to my friend anymore. And that I wouldn't... I wouldn't see him, my friend anymore. And it was always a joy to to talk to him. And I just, there are just some people that are just have extraordinary to talk to. And he walks for is we can learn that everything counts, but nothing matters. That's what he found out. Because all the stuff that we concern ourselves with is left here. <laughs> 